Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Gav aka Baytech and today in this video we're going to start boosting the IS200 You will have seen in the last video that this beast here made a whole 162 horsepower natural aspirated in the dyno Really happy with that but even kicking this thing's here in the road I just, it, didn't, it, need, it needs more power there is, There's no other thing about it, 162 horsepower in this thing uh, with being so long and uh, being so heavy is just gutless so we've got something to sort that out um, we have a nice turbo here from uh, Pulsar Turbo this turbo is a G25 550 I went for the internal gated one um, here as you can see with its new style internal wastegate um, and this is what I'm going to use on this engine now use it, I've seen these cars before, they get boosted quite a lot They are also known for chucking rods quite a lot as well These rods are like toothpicks, like even worse than Honda stuff So I was tempted to go for a larger uh, G30-770 And I know that doesn't make sense for the horsepower that I'm after But um, having that peak torque and that inrusher boost later on in the RPM helps uh, thin little rods, that's why we do that in Honda World is basically we put a massive turbo on and we have little toothpick rods as well So um, and that's how we do it, it's time on torque, we try and minimise the time on torque So, But for some reason I decided to go for a G25 550 in that which will spool quite fast But what I'll do to try and minimise or mitigate the rods coming clean through the block is to taper the boost curve up kind of like a supercharger um, not to have a big surge of torque to hopefully keep this thing together So this is kind of part one, the introductory of it There'll be a few parts to this probably We'll be making exhaust manifolds, we'll be fitting the max speed and rods intercooler And making custom pipes and stuff like that And then we'll be tuning the e DIY EFI ECU um, And I'm sure he's sending me a new map sensor Which is a plug and play map sensor That plugs into the lumen and gives you three bar of map Which is one bar negative, two bar of boost And uh, yeah, we'll get it all set up in a DIY EFI ECU and uh, we'll see what this thing does when it's boosted. Right, so first we job is I flipped off the exhaust manifold and uh, now I'm just bolting up the uh, stainless, uh, sorry, this is a mild steel flange I bought here because I felt that the mild steel was maybe a wee bit easier to sort if it was to warp and stuff like that. Maybe slightly less susceptible to warping with it being mild steel, but um, I've got that and heaps of tubing and stuff. I'll kind of put the turbo where I'd like it. And uh, yeah, we'll work off there. We'll make our own sort of log manifold for it. And we'll go three inch down towards that uh, mid pipe down there. And uh, yeah, this is probably going to take the longest, to be honest, to do this part here. Okay, first part of the turbo manifold. I've got these two 90s here. These are two inch 90s, I think. They're huge. I think it's the inside diameter they measure these off of, but. I'm going to cut these two down like that so they join together as one piece and uh, this is about your turbo inlet flange and that will go on the top now, I don't want a complete log manifold, a lot of people put logs like going straight across I don't really want to try and do that, I want to try and keep as much kind of flow as I can I know the log manifolds themselves are not the best idea but we're just going to work with what we've got here as it is a budget build Right, so I've got a nice quick release swivel manifold on the go here. <laughs> yeah, obviously this is not how it's going to be, I'm just wanting to see the turbo placement and then we can work off. So a little bit of progress, um, I've now just made the manifold kind of like this. You can see what the way I'm going with the flow. The banks are separate, so um, I like to try and keep it that way to try and stop any sort of cross flow between the two phases. Um, and we'll come out here, here, and probably here to here. Uh, and that keeps this bank and that bank separate. So it's not like a traditional log as such. So that should hold a little bit better. And uh, I might need two hands here to show you where I want the turbo to sit. And this is where the turbo will sit nicely here. Um, as you can see, plenty of room for my feeds. Easy to get to the V-band. I can go down there and uh, water feeds and the return I'll go straight down to. Plenty of room for everything, so I think this is the manifold I'm going to go for. I'd be a bit of a bastard to get other pipes in, but um, yeah, it should, should do the trick. I've not decided if I'm going to MIG weld it yet. I've just tacked it with the MIG because it's easier, or if I'm going to TIG it all up. We'll see how it goes, but uh, I do like the MIG, it's just fucking easier. <laughs>
so there we go. I've just roughed it out just now, as you can see. Um, I need to obviously drill the holes and stuff in the bottom of this one, but it looks like it's going to be a nice flowing piece of kit and fits nicely. So, um, yeah, pretty happy with this. Still not sure if I'm going to mig it or tig it, mind. I'm half tempted to mig it, but I'll probably give tig so, a wee shot. So that's it now. Kind of in place. Uh, there's a wee manifold I've made for it. Uh, manifold only cost about, well, it was 50 quid for the flange. Uh, from Lambert Engineering and I ended up getting this tubing from uh, uh, Profusion but my friend uh, Colin Duncan he ended up giving me all of that and this is actually like a handle of a fucking jack <laughs> I'm only joking it was used as a handle of a jack but it is actually a bit of schedule 10 stainless pipe so um, from an old child to put yeah plenty of room down the side down the back to go down there for a wee 3 inch down pipe um, and I'll be able to get to my water lines and stuff. Obviously the housing itself needs clocked around because that is needing to go to the top. Um, my turbo drain will come nicely at the bottom and down into the sump somewhere. Um, I mean, I'm gonna put a hole in the block at some point, so I may as well do it <laughs> just now, eh? But now nah, we'll take the sump off for that. That'll probably be a different video because that looks like it's gonna be a pain in the arse, but yeah, at least in this video, we'll get the turbo manifold all Weld it up, and because it's internal wastegate, we don't have to run any external screamer pipes of that. And I've done that on purpose. There's various reasons. I don't like noise. It's street oh, and these things sound fucking sick on so. Okay, manifold is off again. I'm gonna start welding this thing up. Now I was gonna use a TIG welder, but. I'm just gonna mig the bastard. I, 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 the thing, thing is, I could tig it and it would look half pretty, but I just wanted to be strong and I wanted to be fast. We don't have a lot of time. We'll stick it together with the mig. You can't go wrong with the mig. The mig is fine for the job. Um, it's just maybe not as internet proof as maybe a TIG welder would be. Um, however, just through the shortest time I've got and the strength I want in it, I'm just gonna mig it. There's no problem migging it. I mig all the stuff on the RX-7, so. Um, yeah, that's, that'll save me a heap of time. We'll make this manifold, we'll get it all migged up. Once it's all migged, we'll get it onto the flange, we'll bolt it onto the car and we'll, we'll weld as much as we can on the car to try and use the head as a heat sink, try and stop this flange from warping, because I have a feeling this fucking thing is going to go like a banana. Okay, so while waiting for the exhaust manifold to kind of cool down a bit on the car, using the car as a bit of a heat sink uh, to kind of take some of the heat out of the flange. And uh, I bought this piece off eBay, 20 quid. I thought it would maybe make things a little bit easier for me, the three inch downpipe to this. Uh, as you can see, so it's slightly out. It actually looks all right in the camera, but this piece is a good piece wider than the pipes. But we're going to cut the pipes, see if we can slide it inside. Uh, and weld it up and then that thing and maybe put a wee v-band on the end here that'll make things a little bit making a little bit of progress now we've got this pieces on here and i'm starting to make my way up towards the downpipe which will come up to about here with the turbo sitting so yeah uh, we'll get this thing fitted up and we'll see right, how so it's i went and got myself a new bottle of gas because i ran out um and i've just started doing the downpipe just now right so now i've got the downpipe on as you can see, it's out the way of everything, not touching anything, not touching my steering rack, down by there as well. We land the sensor in the bottom two, underneath here, we come down into three inch system, uh, and then I guess two and a bit inch towards the back, so. Yeah, an extra wee V band there too, so. Everything all tightened up now. Nothing looks like it knocks. Yeah, we're so. caught there for part one of the turbo build. Um, I'll be back at it again tomorrow, but there'll end up being too much stuff in this video if I've done it all in a one hour. So tomorrow, what we'll probably do will be intercooler, stick intercooler on some pipe work, and we'll maybe look at some plumbing and some fittings. I still need to pull the sump off the thing to do this the turbo turn. I'm not looking forward to that to be honest. I might actually just um, drill it while it's on the car. It's a bit rough, I know, but. Um, yeah, we'll see what goes. Maybe a wee magnetic sump plug in there. Um, keep this thing together. But as you've probably seen, there's bearing material in this oil already. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how long it lasts when it's boosted. So, 
But yeah, like I say, guys, that's going to do it for me in this video. Um, and here's Maz, he's come along to give us some a supporting hand. Right, well, that'll do it for this video anyway. And I uh, hope you guys stay safe, take care, and we'll catch you in the next bit. Cheers.